All right, it was a much better game this week for us. A lot of guys came out with the mentality of, you know, swing first or punch first and never stop punching and um, much better effort. Uh, offensively, we added some things to allow, allow the guys to do. Defensively, we did better on keeping guys out of our paint. And, um, you know, there was there was good and bad, but overall, this is the energy that I was, uh, I was looking for. I didn't think we, I didn't know we scored 96 points, but it just looked better. Uh, to me with the way that DeAndre played and Malcolm played. It's always good to see a front court come out ready to go and a low pressure on the ball in the back court. You know, it got back to some uh, some familiar some familiar things for me to see from this from this group. How did you feel about the team responding uh, without playing with Kendrick Davis today? I thought we did a great job. You know, obviously we got a veteran in, in Alo. Uh, we started Keontae and um, Elijah to go with Alo, but Alo understands how to, you know, carry us uh, because he's been doing it for four years, especially defensively and being a leader. And uh, Elijah and Keontae just follow. Speaking of Kendrick, is he going to be? Will he be ready next week? Is this? It seems like this is just kind of a precautionary deal. Yeah, he tweaked his ankle, and we don't want to really chance that. You know, he should be ready for practice next week and be ready for Vandy. Benny, you mentioned Malcolm. He's obviously he's had performances like this in the past. How you've coached him a long time? How do you draw this out of him more consistently? Because you know, it seems like when he's going, you're obviously a better team. Yeah, I mean, we've been talking about this more because when we have the inside presence you know, that he can bring, then it makes us much tougher. And um, I think if we just get his touches down there, that he can he can get to the line, foul line like he did, and uh, he can get the points that we that we want from the inside because we feel like our guard tandems are gonna be pretty good. We just gotta get that from him on the inside. So to answer your question, just talking to him before every game and just telling him, hey, this is what this is exactly what we need. Hey, Coach, uh, will you have your final lineup finalized and how would, how would you do rotation first couple of games of the season? I, I think I'll have it by the end of this week uh, on, the, on the lineups on what I really want to go with. These these two games were auditions, obviously, for me to see which lineups work well together. And once I set the lineups, then I'll know where to go with the subs. So right now, it's not in, nothing's in stone. And, um, you know, much better effort today, but, you know, I, I know that when we get everybody back healthy, uh, and see another week of practice that we'll have what we need. Coach, how do you kind of drum up some energy for the for around the surround energy around the city for the team? Because a lot of new faces on the team, a lot of guys people don't recognize. How do you kind of drum up? What's your message to the city to like come see these guys, come support these guys? A lot of new faces, but they still play some great soccer basketball. Yeah, obviously, you know, we want the fans to come to the game because you know we're fighting, we're a representation of them. We are, you know, the city's team. Secondly, you have to win. When you win, they, they'll come. You know, I think that all the, in the past, when you get the five stars and they know the names, they want to come out and watch. This group has a lot to prove. We haven't done anything yet. So, but you want your fans to come out regardless, just to support the team. But if we do what we're supposed to do, then the fans, the fans will come out. Penny, uh, Chandler Lawson led you guys in rebounds with 15. Just seeing him play that way at the five, we talked to him about that you know, earlier this week. How encouraging is that for you, knowing that you have another option at that position? Yeah, I, he was really the four today, and DeAndre was the five. He was just rebounding really well, and we switched everything. So, you know, Chandler's been doing really well in practice. He worked really hard over the summer. Uh, he didn't get the minutes that he wanted last year and uh, was dedicated to getting his body better. Um, his jumper, which he didn't make any today, but he's been shooting the ball much better, and rebounding is what he's going to do. You know, that's something that the Lawson family is, as a group, they always rebound the basketball. So that's one, that's one thing that I know he'll do nightly. And uh, he'll do whatever the coaching staff asked of him. Great teammate. And, um, you know, he's, he's a good, consistent player. Yes, Coach. Uh, second half, you guys shot the ball better. How do you prepare them to, you know, get better with the shooting? Just keep doing what we're doing. You know, we have these, uh, these guys shooting pretty much their own regiment, getting almost 1,000 shots up a week, you know, making a certain amount. And 
you know, they want to make shots. They're shooting a lot of shots. You just have to do so. Second half was better than the first half, obviously, but man, you go two for 19 and four for 20. <laughs> you know, you're going to be begging for someone playing a zone or, or shrinking the court on you. So you're going to have to make them at some point, but we keep shooting them and we'll be okay. Hey coach, not only the shooting was good in the second half, but the defense seems like it was the way you, you normally play, uh, the hustle, the, the press. How can you get them to play that more consistently for a full game? Yeah, I think when the season starts, we'll be pressing way more. We kind of just got up, but we didn't really ever get into our normal press that we get get after people. We just wanted to get up and kind of make it hard for them to catch the ball and then pressure one-on-one. -on -one. Kind of worked on that today. Um, but believe me, at Vandy, we got to throw the entire kitchen sink because those guys, it's going to be a hard game. And um, we'll be ready to do every from every aspect that we have in our defense. But I think that's going to keep the energy going. I think it seems pretty clear like Kendrick is your number one and DeAndre is kind of your number two. Have you figured out yet that who's the, the, who's the third best player on this team? Is it like, is it, it seems like it could be like eight or nine different guys maybe. Yeah, right now, you know, you know, it's, it's on a, a any given night basis, you know, but looking at practice, that next score would be Demario Franklin. He's pretty special. Defensively, as good as Alo defensively and knocks down shots at a high clip, man, he's, he's special. With this group, adding him to that group, it makes us a totally different team. Do you have any level of confidence that he is going to be cleared, that this, the situation will be resolved before the opener? I hope so. I mean, you never know, it's always a coin flip. But uh, I hope he's this week is the week that they allow him to be, you know, eligible to be able to play. And then a question totally unrelated. You're talking about the fans. I'm curious, when you encounter some of these fans in the crowd who were there in the crowd when you were playing, were there when Larry Finch was playing, mm -hmm. like what what are those interactions like for you when you see fans who have been watching Tiger basketball for like 50 years? You know, it's pretty special because they know how it looks. They know how it's supposed to look. They know what Memphis basketball is all about. So they're, they're pure and they want that energy, that heart, that hustle and, and the grind, the grit and grind, obviously of what our city is. They want that in every team. They want that in the Tiger basketball. Yes, sir. You entered Keontae Kennedy in the lineup today. How do you feel about his performance overall? Keontae did well. He's still trying to find his footing. You know, seven for six, 16 isn't bad. He's not shooting his threes the way that he wants to, but 16 points, if he could bring that on a nightly basis, then that's huge. You know, he could be that next guy in the lineup that could, you know, he, Alo, and Demaria can be those guys that could really get us over the hump in those areas. But Keontae did, he did well. He didn't shoot the ball as well, but he does a lot of stuff well. Thanks. Thanks.